This video, we're going to talk about Shakur, Shakur Stevenson. Now, people know that I have my views of Shakur, uh, and I believe that he is, I believe that his grandfather is losing control over him. I think Shakur's head has gotten big. I think down the road that's going to cost him. Um, I do not believe that he can beat, um, that he's ready for, nor can he defeat Javante Davis at this point. I also believe that he is very close, and this is going to be controversial, but I'd say things before Teddy Atlas says it. There will be a video I'm going to post talking about Teddy Atlas and Timothy Bradley uh, unabashedly now changing their view uh, on Canelo, okay, which is, which is typical. I've been saying things about Canelo for the longest, um, and it's I've been criticized for saying it. Now, Timothy Bradley and, and Teddy Atlas is now jumping on a bandwagon, but I want to stay on Shakur for now. This is controversial, but I have to say it. I believe that Shakur is on the way to have his career ruined. I believe he's on the way to having his career ruined. What he has to do, though, is he has to fight one person, one man. And he has to beat him. And it doesn't matter how he beats him. It doesn't matter if he beats him by knockout. Of course it would be better. But it doesn't matter if he beats him by knockout. Doesn't matter if he beats him by a split decision. Doesn't matter if he beats him by a, a unanimous decision. Now, of course, of all of them, I think it would be better if he beat him by unanimous decision. Even over a knockout. Because you can knock people out and not necessarily be the best overall fighter. Of course, a split decision, um, if it's not, a, you know, if it's not obvious to the fan, the split decision is going to be controversial, then it will be a call for a rematch. He has to beat William Zepeda. He has to beat William Zepeda. Now, it doesn't matter how he beats him. Generally, it matters how you beat a fighter. In this case, it doesn't matter how he beats him. I do want to say this first. Anyone who says he's going to outbox William Cepeda, I'm going to tell you that's for another channel. I'm tired of people continually telling me somebody's going to outbox somebody. Anybody can say that. Anybody can say that Floyd will outbox someone. Anybody can say that Terrence Crawford will outbox someone. Anyone can say that uh, Shakur Stevenson without boxing him, that, that is a five-year-old, an adolescent way of, of uh, handicapping a fight. How is he going to outbox him? So anyone who says, oh, he's going to outbox William Cepeda, you're not getting into this form. You're not, your comment's not going to get in. You tell me how. If you want to tell me how, if it makes sense, you know, even if I disagree, if it comes from some intellect, if it comes some, from some boxing know-how, I'll post it because I know somebody is ready to say he's going to outbox him. William Zapata is five foot nine, I believe. He's perpetual motion. He has a good chin, and he can punch in bunches for twelve rounds. If Shakur beats him, there is nothing, nothing. And I'm not saying Zapata is better than everyone Javante Davis fought. What I am saying, though, is that if Shakur beats uh, Zapata, there is nothing Javante Davis did in his career, even against uh, Ryan Garcia. There is nothing that he did that I can say satisfies me when it comes down to him not fighting Shakur. In other words, if Shakur beats Zapata, his defeat of Zapata puts him on, poor, on, on par with anything Javante Davis has done because Zapata's that good. If he beats him, he automatically is deserving of a fight with Javante and he needs to be taken seriously when it comes down to his ability, ability to beat Tank. I don't know if he can, but it certainly should make people um, give him a better chance of beating Tank. Now, why is this? What's going to be tested? 
we're talking about a bigger fighter, okay? So Shakur, uh, who has a long reach, okay? So Shakur, to hit him, will have to be in range to be hit, which means that his defense, his defense is going to serve him to a certain degree, but his chin is going to have to rescue him from the rest, okay? Because when you have a good defense, that defense is compromised when you have to put yourself in harm's way to reach your opponent. With Zepeda, that will be the case. At some point, Shakur is going to have to fight this man. Okay, this is the second reason why him fighting him means so much. Him beating him means so much. At some point, he will have to fight him. You just, he will not be able to evade this man for 12 rounds. The punches just come too regularly. Okay? It comes, they come too regularly. So at some point, he is going to have to fight him. And at the point that he fights him, he is going to have to put his defense, um, and some people may not like me saying it, he's going to have to put his defense on the back burner. In other words, he is going to have to sacrifice his defense, being uh, defensively uh, conscious. He's going to have to sacrifice that in order to engage with Zepeda at some point in that fight. In addition to that, his stamina, his stamina and his will are going to be put to an ultimate test because of Zepeda's ability to throw punches and bunches for 12 rounds. I am, that is one fight that I'm looking forward to seeing. That's one fight, okay, that I really want to see. I don't, it's not that I believe that Shakur can't win. It's that at the end of the day, I believe that whatever Shakur Stevenson is going to be, whatever he's going to be, whatever he's not going to be, is going to be decided with that one fight. And early in this man's career, I almost have never seen this happen that so early in a man's career he can be made or broken with one fight. His career can be over as we know it. As we know it. Now he can continue to fight but the Shakur Stevenson the potential all-time great it could be over if he loses to William Zepeda, it could be over. Okay? He can continue to fight again, but this idea that he's a potential great could be over now. Now, before I end this video, I want to say this. I once compared him to Sugar Bay Leonard. In some sense, I still do. Because he has that pizzazz, he has that smile, and he can cross over. The reason he hasn't crossed over is because I don't believe he's being managed correctly. I don't believe he's being managed well. I don't believe his personality, which is even more marketable than than even Javante Davis. He has a very marketable personality, and he's not being marketed like the next Sugar Ray Leonard, and he should be. If I was his manager, I would do that. I'm not only comparing his personality to Sugar Ray Leonard, but I'm comparing his, his career. Ray lost to Roberto Duran. And he came back and became, again, the great Sugar Ray Leonard. So it is possible that Shakur can lose to Zepeda and, and, and come back in a big way. A rematch with Zepeda, maybe never fighting Zepeda again and doing something else. I can't imagine what it would be, but doing something else in boxing that makes us forget that he lost to Zepeda. So I'm not saying that he can't recoup um, his losses when it comes down to the public image or what people think of him in his career and his skills. But it will be tested. It will be tested. What he can become will be tested when he fights William Zepeda. If he beats him, I think he answers for me in any real fight Kunisar, if he beats William Zepeda in any fashion, Zepeda is just that high energy. He is just that good. 
that for me, even if Shakur beats him by split decision, even if the decision is controversial and he lasts for 12 rounds and wins a controversial decision against Cepeda, for me, it will answer every question I have about Shakur Stevenson. But no one less than Cepeda is going to do. He brings a lot to the table and only someone as talented as Shakur can beat that particular person. Only someone as talented as Shakur. He's talented enough to do it. He's talented enough. That's not what's missing. What is missing, I think, is something, or what could be missing, is something I will talk about in another video. But for now, he has to beat him. And if he beats him, it will answer and should answer any question anyone has ever had or probably will ever have of Shakur. And he's deserving of an immediate a fight uh, with Javante Davis. Okay? Save Carmen on the fight camp. See you next video.